Hi, my name is Gerhard Schwantner and welcome to Selling Power TV. Today we have the pleasure of meeting with Bob Marsh. He is the founder and CEO of Level 11. Welcome, Bob. Thanks, Gerhard. So you have created an interesting application based on the competitive nature of salespeople. Can you tell us more about it? Yeah, sure. So you know, I've spent 20 plus years in the world of sales and sales management and sales operations. So I learned really firsthand as a salesperson you know, what it's like and in the, in the realities and challenges of all the different distractions throughout your day. Um, the idea is that salespeople are incredibly hyper-competitive people. And so what we do is we help managers tap into that by allowing them to pick the, the critical behaviors that they're trying to drive within their company and then create leaderboards and competition and energy and campaigns essentially around those specific behaviors. And you throw those results and their, and their performance against them on leaderboards and that's just an incredibly powerful motivator to get salespeople doing what you really want them focused on. You had an article in Inc. Magazine about that and it was really very interesting. What is the nature of competition? Is the competition around the score? Uh, is it about scoring? Is it about winning? Is it about uh, outdoing other people mm -hmm. or getting the best out of themselves? Yeah, so that's a, it's a great question. So it's interesting how we've learned over time that what motivates people, so if you look at historically, at you know, companies that have always run sales contests, like the oldest tactic in the book to kind of motivate a salesperson. Um, and a lot of times the manager struggles because they're, you know, they're a pain in the neck to manage and what kind of a award am I going to give away? And you know, the people think, well, you know, salespeople, they're making a lot of money. I've got to have something really big and juicy to get their attention. And what's interesting that we've learned is that you don't always need that big of a prize if you structure and design the competition properly. And so we kind of help people through that process to make it very simple. And it's amazing the results that we see. And we've really learned that the prize is nowhere near as important as you think it is. Because salespeople are motivated by the competition of it. And there's a, there's a lot of research on the topic. And you think of athletes, et cetera. Like, it's always about, how do I get that extra inch? How do I go just a stretch a little bit further to help me achieve and win? And so there's all kinds of sports analogies that you can tie to that. In terms of like why people like to compete, you know, it's a little bit different for everybody. Um, you know, I always like to ask people the question, you know, think to yourself, do you love to win or do you hate to lose? And what you find is the most competitive people will tell you without any hesitation, I hate to lose. Like, it just, it kills me. <laughs> and that's the thing that really motivates people. When you think about that, when you get these leaderboards, what we found is that everyone wants to move to the top. I mean, everyone, of course, like to be the winner. But the reason that people who are competitive like to compete is because it gives them a measure of how they're doing relative to their peers. And so, sure, everyone would like to win, but they learn from that process and they say, okay, that gives me some perspective in an objective way of how I stack up. And I want to keep improving myself and stretching myself to get a little bit better. And that's really inside, that's what's motivating that person to kind of try to move them around and up on that leaderboard. So what does the software actually do? So what the software does, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a software application built specifically, uh, at least for right now, with Salesforce.com. And so it's an application, you very simply like plug it into inside of Salesforce, and it allows you to say, okay, what's the date range I want to run this contest or competition, which could be an hour, it could be a month, a quarter, you know, whatever it might be. And then you say, okay, what's the specific behavior I want to pinpoint to get people to do? You know, log more meetings, get more demos, follow this new sales process, take a new product to market, you know, whatever it might be. So you pinpoint that behavior. You can put point values on those behaviors, like a call's worth a point, a meeting's worth five points, a you know, qualified opportunities 10, whatever you want to do. Then you say, okay, what kind of awards or prizes do you want to do? You want to award badges to people? You want to give them a, a gift card or dinner out? Um, then you say, who are the people that I want to include? And it might be you know, your A players, your C player, whoever, you know, it could be the whole team. Um, and then you kind of pre pre-build, how do I want to keep people updated? You press save and it launches this real-time leaderboard. It sits right inside their CRM, goes up on the big screen monitor, it's on their mobile phone, it creates a little private social group like within Salesforce Chatter to get people kind of trash talking with each other and really collaborating. So we really are surrounding the salesperson with what motivates them, which is competition and recognition. Well, thank you, Bob. We are going to continue our conversation with Bob Marsh tomorrow where we talk about the relationship between rewards and performance.